Yo, what is up guys? So for today, we're gonna be talking about Destiny 2. Now specifically, we're gonna be looking at my Hunter in Season of the Hunt slash Beyond Light. I've been meaning to do this video, but because there's nothing to do in Destiny 2 right now, I think this is the best part to make these videos. So, like I said, th these are probably some of my favorite videos to do just because it shows you like what I've been using this season and so far. And it's just one of my favorite type of videos to make. And obviously I'm gonna do it for my Titan Warlock hunters obviously first but this is pretty much how i've been looking now if i'm being honest this cloak is new i usually never really wear this cloak because of the yellow i hate that but i decided to use it on this because it looks really cool and it's gonna be on the thumbnail but if i'm being honest i'm usually i'm usually rocking this this is how I, my hunter has really been looking all season this is the cloak i always use it's one of my favorite cloaks in the game ever even in destiny one i think this is like the best cloak they've ever made that represents a hunter really really well like this insignia is actually from a cloak from destiny one which is like also one of my favorite cloaks so for me it's like it, it hits everything and one of the reasons why i love it is because it has this really cool like scarf here the fur really does it really well like it's my favorite so much that it's actually my channel thumbnail as you guys can see i'll probably have the picture up right now but this is me like aside from like a few things here and there my beard does indeed have a white thing right there my hair is indeed like a big ass mohawk like this is how i look and essentially this is how i will always envision my hunter and yeah i just love it a lot and it's really funny to me because i've used this cloak for three video three of these videos now which is why like i had to veto it for myself i was like i can't use this because i'm always using it. it's one of my favorites so unfortunately i had to like basically just find something else but just know that usually i'm always just gonna be wearing this all the time but i found this one and i thought it looked really cool this actually might not go on the thumbnail now, now that i look at it because the real the real one that i've been wearing is this one <clears throat> this is the one i've been wearing try to just trying to like try something new and i actually do like it because the if you guys see right here that's the wrong one i need to go to the helmet if you guys see right here the bottom right here oh my god this right here the choker is actually part of the cloak itself. It's not part of the chest piece. So I think it does look, make the chest piece look a little bit more armored, which is cool, which is a reason why I was like, oh, I'm gonna wear this because also this is not part of the chest piece as well. So overall, I think this really adds to the chest piece. And I am the, like, this helmet does wear a rebreather. So I thought the hose was really good as well. So let's go through all the armor pieces and then we'll go through my build and everything. This is the helmet from the Halloween event. I got it for everyone. So my Titan and Warlock all have it. And the Hunter is probably one of my favorites for the helmets because it's a fucking wolf dog. I love wolves. Uh, I think they're fucking cool. And this helmet looks really cool. It does shade her pretty well as well. What makes me really happy is the fact that they had let us have the glowing light. It actually does change color. So for sure. It was going to become my immediate favorite. Like when I saw it, I was like, this is going to be my favorite. Next up is the arms from, I don't remember the Lux set. I don't remember where the Lux set came from, what season specifically, but this one's good. I think last season I showcased the boots, if I remember correctly. So it makes sense that I have the arms now. Uh, I still have the chest piece and the helmet and the cloak, which I think all of them are fire. But I think this looks awesome, especially with the chest piece. I think the chest piece really combines everything really well together it makes me look slim and sleek which is like the look i was going for because i think this looks great i like i think the cloak is like the only thing where i'm just like i don't know if it's like all there if we go to the hunters cloaks like i just don't know which cloak i would wear and be like yo like this really brings it together like something like this probably would not be my biggest thing like off the top of my head something that i would wouldn't really care too much for uh neither yeah none, none of these really they're all too big none of, none of these either 
None of these. It's funny too, because I already know how all, most of these look because I like just know how they all look. And like, no. And this is like my my process. Like once Transmog comes into the game and they don't put it behind sil silver only or some stupid price, I'm definitely gonna be just be doing this. Like I'm probably gonna do like proper fashion videos, which I've always wanted to do, but Destiny just has like a really weird connection with fashion for some fucking reason. Maybe this one. I would have to change the all the color, but I don't hate this. Yeah, I would have to change the color of all of it. I don't hate it. It looks fire. Just again, wish that red could change color. Other than that, yeah. I, you know what? This one would be the best, honestly. Yeah, I would wear this one a lot if I had it. Uh, hopefully they bring it back. But yeah, this is one. Like, ah, man, dude. I want this so much. So that's pretty much it. I mean, not the video. This is pretty much like the cosmetics of my hunter. If you guys can see, pretty much have like all the stuff that I usually will have on me, aside from the these armor pieces, the cinder pions, the cinder like all these right here. I don't wear these. These are just new, and I haven't like erased or checked them out yet. Uh, I have all, all the raid armor pieces for my hunter. I already did that video, and I have the wild hunt armor mostly because I'm trying to get the this one right here which i always forget so that's going to be something i'm going to be doing later and obviously exotics i have a bunch of exotics that i've been wearing and yeah it's uh it's pretty much it if you guys have any questions just comment down below i'll be more than happy to answer any of them but when it comes to my build i don't have anything going on right now i usually like i usually have a charged with light build i don't do war mines at least not yet i've been i don't even know if i have any of the mods or like all of them so that will probably not be up for a while but the charged with light uh build that i have is usually just like something to make me beefier and uh lucian blade when i'm doing the raid other than that i really don't ever use uh charged with light just because the content in this game is already easy so there's no need for it uh, that weapons wise we have criminal's dagger which I reviewed which is a great fucking weapon ignore the five uh, defeated opponents I forget that to turn that on and off uh, escape velocity is still one of my favorite SMGs especially this role that I have on it overflow and quick draw I specifically have that role for a build that I I think I actually shared with you guys it's called the grow fat with ammo or whatever a new succession that I got which I still don't know if I like or not Friction Fire, this is the best Friction Fire I've found. Uh, Succession, which is the Reconstruction Recombination bi uh, build that I think is fine. Uh, Heritage, which was just from a random raid. And then Izanagi's Burden, Burden, one of my favorite, if not my favorite, exotic snipers in the game, hands down. Like, Whisper is dope, but Izanagi's I just love more. <clears throat> then we come to Xenoclass, which is great. Lead from Gold and Trench Barrel is actually these two would be the the pairing that I would use with like maybe Anarchy. This would be the build aside from like the other stuff that I would have to put here. But I've already made that video, so if you guys want to fi find that video, uh, I'll probably have it in the, in the description below, maybe. Uh, but I have Ancient Gospel, one of my favorite roles, Rapid Hit Kill Clip, uh, the Ikelos which I got fucking ages ago. As you guys can see, I got it at a season of the arrivals, which sucks because it's going to get sunset, not even a year now, but I have four times the charm and high impact reserves, which is a great role. I have posterity, which is killing wind and one for all, which is probably the God role for most people for PVE. At least I like it. I don't use it as much as I would, but it's dope. Uh, the fourth horseman, which I, love to know to end that i love this gun obviously point of the stag which i don't even know why i have honestly and then these weapons because i'm currently trying to finish the triumphs for this season and then fellow winters lie i always have it just in case and then we get to heavy which honestly anarchy needs no explanation corsair's wrath i think i like that role 
firmly planted and high impact reserves for PvP seems dope. <coughs> Black Talon, which is a great weapon for PvP. I don't use it to sword peek. I make it a point never to sword peek when I have this out. So it's mostly just for, you know, when I have ammo for it, which I think that's how it should work. Commemoration, I have the No Distraction and Rampage, but I also have another one, which is basically, what is it? What did I get on it? Hold on, let me see. Because I have dim open right now. I got a good god roll too. I got Reconstruction and Dragonfly, which is the one I wanted to have on my Hunter. I don't know why he doesn't have it. This one, this is a great roll. I love it to death. Uh, but I also have the Seven Seraph Saw, which is a great weapon for solo players. If you're a solo player, you definitely want to get something like this Clown Cartridge and Vorpal weapon. This is also a good solo weapon, but I just think the Seventh Seraph is a better machine gun for this particular thing. But obviously, Fallen Guillotine is probably the best thing. And that's really it. Uh, this is garbage, obviously, but Eyes of Tomorrow got it my day one raid completion. It was great. I, ah, great day. And then the Lament obviously need, needs no introduction. And that's really it, guys. Uh, I don't really have anything too crazy to share with you guys uh, aside from like my hunter still has the fallen themed stuff so I have the Kel, I have the Regal Howl, and then I have the Shank Shell. That's really it. Uh, when it comes to other things, uh, we could probably talk about that in other videos but build wise I usually have like I said Charged with light. I usually have charged with light when I'm doing raids or like something that's some somewhat hard. But other than that, I'll probably just have like whatever is on it, honestly. And let's talk. Let's talk about my stat rotation because I feel like people will want to talk about that. So me personally, I'm a bit of a weird hunter because I like to have really high resilience on my hunter. I don't like to have low resilience, and I know 43 is not the greatest. This is my old build. What I really want, actually, hold on. Yeah, this one. So this is what I usually look like for my stat rotation. What I really want to do is essentially take like 30 of the intellect and put it into resilience, at least not 30, but like 20 of it. And then the rest could go like to like discipline. So essentially my, my like God role st stat distribution would probably be like 90, uh, 60, 90, uh, 50, and then like, what was it? 50 and then 43. I don't really care about strength to be quite honest. Strength is like, if I was being honest, whichever one has like the highest one. Okay. That makes more sense. So I really have 20 resilience or 20 string. That makes more sense. So I would preferably just take all of the strength that I have right now and then just put it into something else because, uh, mobility, I would like to have 100 mobility because I don't think traction gives the hidden hunt 10 anymore. So realistically, I would like to have 100 uh, mobility. So 100 mobility, 60 resilience, 90 recovery, I really think is fine. 100 it's like, sure, but I think 90 is still great. 50 discipline would be great. And then 50 intellect would be great, mostly because once you start getting to the higher levels, it's really like diminishing returns at that point. So 50 is like the really good spot where it's like you get the really big initial boost and then everything else is just, like I said, diminishing returns for me. So that would be my God roll. And like what kills me the most is that now with sunsetting, I don't really care. This is the best I'll do. I don't give a fuck anymore. So that's really it. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, let me know in the comments below. Uh, my Titan's gonna be next, then my Warlock and just gives you a heads up for any of you warlock mains i don't have my warlock build at all she's not my main priority and not even my third priority my third priority is like my hunter it goes from my hunter to titan then my hunter back again and then my warlock because i, my, I don't play my warlock as much as i would like but yeah be safe guys you know what's happening in the world and i will see you guys later